That's the beauty about this. That's why it distinguishes from all the other elements. Now, here it is, salutinic mechanism. And you can see, slow nucleons can come in. Boron 10 will become boron 11, then immediately alpha particle lithium 7. At length, 8 to micron. It doesn't have to be, by the way, in the It could be anywhere in the cytoplasm. It can destroy the entire cell. So, here are the two compounds, which is called boronated phenylalanine. Basically, it's a phenylalanine, amino acid, and boronic acid is at one end. We call BPA, boronated And this one is brought with polymer cage with the thiol attached on it. It's a dianine. Both of them are water soluble. And then, this is called sodium on captorbilicaborate, which is the name. Now, who's going to talk about all these names and all? Let's talk about, like, in the medical field, in the biochemistry, we always give a short name, BSH. So this is BSH, this is BPA. But one thing about this is, both of them are not tumor specific. They are, if they are in the tumor, it's wonderful. It can kill the but it's not tumor specific. But how do you send it to the tumor? But you need a carrier. The carrier is the glucose. The problem is that diabetic patients, they cannot have it straight. But the non diabetic you can get the tumor. That's the problem. And this is not <laughs> working effectively. The data which we get is doing. Some people are getting cured, some people are not. But again, if you have a brain tumor, not many people survive beyond four or five years, but if there's any other tumor, which may be a hard for things. But diabetic patients cannot have it. Well, what we decided was at one point, if it is not possible, let's take this one to the diapeptide. Now, this diapeptide, we call it as coronated glycyl phenylalanine. So it's the two of those combined, alanine and the glycyl together. Now, this particular one, this bond is not at all broken with the uh, enzyme reactions, and when human phenomenon growing more on ratio nine times more than the other one, and then the human to blood ratio is three times to one. It's really nice. This is kind of accidental. Many times we do discover, we make a lot of different things, but out of 100 compounds, maybe one compound may take. And this is one of those cases where it was successful. So this is a better than BPA and BSH drug, and we published that in radiation research. And then question comes, is it truly the better drug? Well, let me give you a little story now. Now, before that, before I give you the, the story about success, I tell you, until all the important compounds were prepared, only compound they were using was the boric acid. The boric acid, I did the other boron compounds that they use, those are toxic itself and also not very successful. They use that in a five-year-old girl in the case study. The patient died for three months after BNC. So the brain tumor is not really effective. No matter how much you do, you can increase the life by a year or two or three, but not till you go to the other end. So that is really a cover very annoying thing, really upsetting thing because you cannot really make people live a little longer. You're waiting with the data support. So here what we did is if I'm a brain tumor, let's try on the liver. Here the patient in Italy and had a, the 14 spots in the liver had the tumor. And this person is going to die because physician told that you will live only three months. And uh, this Italian guy he said that, well, when you are going to die, why not? Let's give the permission, you do whatever the treatment you want. So the BGPA was sent to Italy, and they used that on this patient. And the problem is using this drug in the patient, okay, you can do it, you can inject it, or you can send it by intravenously, but the problem comes the neutron does it. Neutron does. How do you provide the neutron? We both live in the same house and we went to the car. 
high school, elementary school, we played, we fought with each other. So many years together, me and about 16, 17 years together. And he had the little job and he made it. And as soon as I said that, this man, I haven't seen him for so many years, over 16, over 10 or 12 years. And I thought that I should see him. And immediately I told this person, the driver, to take me to the hospital. He did. When I went there, my uncle was, he was unbelievable, Mr. Paul, that after so many years, 16 or 12 years, or something like that, I saw him. And he got up from the bed. He was just lying down. I saw an answer with kind of a cat cure that he got up. And he wouldn't believe that I showed up. And then I told him, said, look, we have this liver tumor experiment done in Italy. So we can do it for you. So don't worry about it. I finished my Nehru chair thing in Hyderabad on my way back. Okay, I can take you either to Japan, my collaborator, or we can take the US. We can take you home. Or we can anywhere because there are not a lot of people. So we can get this PNC treatment done for you. I'm so happy. And all of a sudden, you can see the glow in his eyes. Wonderful feeling. But I talked with a doctor, the oncologist said his tumor was in the last condition. He didn't go to the doctor. He didn't go to check out. He took the local remedy, the medicine, herbal, you know, like just one the and that kind of thing, you know, and then he had a little bit the gas problem and took the digel and like that. Until he started vomiting blood. When he vomited blood, that means he was at the hospital. And the doctor told me that, yes, he could have helped him, but he didn't come here before he came to the hospital. So while I was there, I don't know, he died. That's a sad story. Here I was able to help the Italian patient to allow my own uncle. I can say that. So it was a sad part. But one thing, President of the wedding and the of people, and uh, this is my medical, uh, uh, these collaborators from the BNCD project, Dr. Takagaki. Uh, Dr. Takagaki has been wonderful, and uh, I sent him a sample, and within one week I get the data. He's that fast, that good, and if I send an email, immediately. Uh, it's almost like so hard. Anytime you send an email, and uh, Professor Lipscomb, he did a lot of enzyme chemistry and helped us, and he's been my long time collaborator. He's getting old now, he's a 90 year old, and I dedicated that book to Professor Lipscomb for his lifetime achievement in war on science. And uh, Dr. Sajid Bax, Alvin Lennox from Early Life, she helped me a lot, but she died recently in 2008. And of course, we hope to do a lot more collaborative research with uh, Mata and other people in the teams. And I'm really grateful that you gave me an opportunity to come here and talk about what we do. I thought I took you all the way, and uh, I had a bet with uh, Sonali that if anybody sleeps, and I give them $100. <laughs> Did anybody sleep? So okay. if they were all awake, then you will give me $100. Everybody is sleeping, but sleeping. <laughs> Uh, anyway, finally, I really, really thank you all for uh, your patience and for the invitation. I am the professor this morning for the excellent presentation. Is there any questions for this? Bonded on the metal and then get a 
living in the US. So that's what someone said, that's why lawyers are making money in the US. But it, only when you put a new product,